Ah, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another update week. Uh, my name is Martin. I, as always, I'm an Inkscape Pro programmer, uh, hoping to develop Inkscape in the ways that regular everyday users would like. Uh, thank you for jo joining me for another up update week. Uh, we're going to be talking about the multi-page work again. I think this is week 10. Oof. This might be taking a while, but then again, this is exactly what we thought it might because multi-page support has been uh, a feature in Inkscape that has been known, like we knew it would take a lot of work to get it done. So I've been taking this slowly. So thank you very much for hang hanging on uh, as we progress through, through this work. So as usual, I want to give a big sh shout out and a big th thank you to all of my sponsors and uh, on Patreon and Li LibraPay. Thank you for jo joining me helping to uh, make sure that I have some hours to work on during the week so I can dedicate them towards Inkscape work and making sure that I can serve your interests within the Inkscape pro project. Uh, so what did I get up to this week? Uh, this week I uh, fixed some crashes in some old work, so basically previous work that I'd worked on. A, the objects Net dialog had a memory leak which caused cr crashes, especially on Mac OS. Uh, we're not exactly sure why we can skip crashes only on some operating systems with some some of these memory leaks, but they're good to get fixed for every operating system. Um, I also fixed issues with the object di dialog itself not updating uh, when you first open it. Um, so those are all fixed. <clears throat> uh, there was some website work. I fixed the Mastodon uh, social media link. It should now correctly identify your your rel me so that it I'd, verifies your Mastodon link. Um, and we also tested the membership for protocols from a few weeks ago. Uh, we had a developer slash committee leadership meeting and we all got together and uh, tested it. Uh, it's looking really nice. I mean, I, I really like the logs. Um, I, I don't know, it just makes me a little giddy um, when you see something like nicely ordered. Uh, okay, so multi-page support. This is what you're probably here to hear about. So this week I wanted to work on two things, the reordering of pages and the, uh, the uh, loads of uh, reported problems that need to be fixed. The reordering actually took quite a bit of time, um, but I managed to get it sorted out. It both can allow you to move the pages backwards and forwards within the stack. Uh, I also decided to add an indicator to the tool toolbar to tell you what the pages were. Uh, just so you can see like three of three paid pages. Uh, it means that when you move it back, backwards and forwards, you get an indication of where it is in the stack. Um, when you move the page, there are two op options. One is you can have the objects move with the page, and what will happen is the pages will sort of switch places and the contents will move as well. And the other is that you can just move it in the stack and none of the pages will physically move on the cam canvas at all. They'll just move in the, in, the, uh, in the sort of virtual stack so that when you export it, they'll be exported in a different order. Um, those two options are important because there are different reasons why you might have um, an ordered list of pa pages. Some people keep like a list of pa pages going along the side uh, and so they want them to be in order and other people keep the pages like all over the place because they have a design uh, sort of like canvas. And so for them, the export is, is uh, arbitrary, but the positions on the canvas do not need to change. Um, so that all seems to work quite well now. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Uh, you should definitely test it out. I'd be interested to hear feed, feedback on that. Uh, and there's no user, user experience or design in, in, input th this time. So... Um, yeah, I, I am interested to hear feed feedback. Uh, there are a bunch of pagination fi fixes that I did manage to get to. I ran through everybody's testing. Thank you, everybody, for testing it. And I collected them into a big list. I thought that I'd be able to get through the list, honestly, um, this week. But um, the reordering was a bigger job than it ended up being, than I thought it would be. And the, uh, the fix, <laughs> honestly, the fixes seem to be ever more difficult the more you looked at them. Um, and in fact, one of the reasons why this video is late uh, today is because I was actually up way too late last night fixing, or trying to fix one of these issues. And, 
and I only just managed to fix one of the issues. So um, thank you for bearing with me uh, as I as I like slowly work through through them. But now we should be able to at least export uh, PDFs a little more sensibly and import them a little more sensibly. Uh, <laughs> I seem to like touch that code every other week to to like fix some particular piece of it. Um, but that's okay. It, it like at least it, at least it's logical, like wh why why it breaks and then why it fi why it's fixed. Um, and that and that's pretty much it. Like it, please do report more more problems. Uh, look at the ones that are already reported, so you don't have to duplicate those things. Um, but yeah, thank th thank you all for testing this this release. I'll put a link again to the improv pro progress um, builds, and. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, big note at the boot. Thank you for uh, voting for the uh, the thing that I should be working on next. I honestly didn't expect user uh, polishing, like user experience for polishing, to be like the number one vo voted thing. It won on both the uh, the private vote and the public vote. Um, and now I just have to figure out or ask people what that means. Well, basically, like there's just a lot of things that I could pay attention to and it would be unfair of me to just randomly throw a dice and like pick one um so if so i may i may end up actually doing another poll to ask what exactly in the user interface should be the focus uh but that's for future me to sort out um thank you very much for watching and i will see you all next week